It's the internet. You're busy. Let's do this. I'm Jeff Grubb. I write for GamesBeat. And let's talk about image reconstruction and super resolution and deep learning super sampling. Uh, the, the, the future of computer graphics is probably going to have a, a lot to do with not necessarily just brute force hardware rendering. It's going to be a lot about smart algorithms and technologies that can make one image look as good as another and that is exactly with, with what we're going to be talking about today in terms of NVIDIA DLSS versus AMD FSR. Just to give a quick overview of what these technologies are, NVIDIA DLSS is a, an older technology now, but it's one that uses some advanced machine learning AI algorithms that actually train a model based on what a game should look like at 16K. And then when you run the game at like 720p, your NVIDIA graphics card has certain hardware inside of it, tensor cores that know what that game should look like at 16K and is able to make a 720p image look more like a 1440p image or even in extreme circumstances, a 4K image. So you're actually running the game at 720p, getting that frame rate, but you're getting an image that looks a lot more like 4K. What you're looking at here is a four is 4K gameplay of Avengers running in DLSS quality mode. That means it's probably running at about, you know, the, the 1440p, maybe even higher. And it's upscaling that to 4K and using a lot of this, the tensor cores and machine learning algorithms to make it look more like 4K. The results are spectacular. And one of the things about DLSS is because it is using this this true North Star 16K source footage as, as like a part of like what it should look like it's capable often of looking better than native 4k rendered images or native for like 1440p and uh, the results are, are really stunning because it's it, it's capable of bringing information that isn't even in the game when it's running at a lower resolution compare that to amd fsr fidelity fx super resolution this is a software solution that is uh, can run on almost any graphics card, any modern graphics card from like the last five, six years. And then it just kind of upscales the image and then uses a variety of sharpening techniques, a variety of interpolations to try to get that image to look more like a higher resolution image. Uh, the results are are pretty good. And, and we're going to see that here in a second. But the short version of what is happening here is that NVIDIA DLSS is better it is capable of doing more it's capable of making images look even better uh than, than fsr but fsr might be good enough especially when, when you consider the performance gains you get from it and that's i think going to be the actual long-term story here is that fsr is good enough let's start here with this comparison you could see that all of them look very sharp they're actually at a glance difficult to tell apart and this is with DLSS and AMD FSR both on their quality settings. This gets you pretty equivalent performance. F FSR gets you a few more frames per second usually, uh, and m but both are much better than native 4K. Uh, but we're gonna focus on the image quality. And to do that, let's zoom in here. And I think you could see some of the details on uh, Kamala's shirt. Like if you look at the stitching on the FSR and the shirt itself, you could begin to see some fuzz, so definitely something that looks like it is processing an image. But if you look at the gauntlet as well, there's a lot more detail in her gauntlet on the DLSS version, even more so than in the native version. And I just think overall the image is sharper. Now, let's see it in motion here. I think the grass looks a little bit sharper in both the native version and DLSS than in AMD FSR. Uh, but you could just see that the, the, this, the DLSS is using its magic to make an image look very much like 4K and beyond. But realistically, are we seeing a huge difference between these three images? This is AMD FSR and DLSS on their balanced modes. And I still think that they look very good. Uh, I think DLSS still looks right on par with native 4K, but FSR, while a little bit fuzzier, especially in the bricks there, uh, it's still overall in motion looks like 4K and you're getting much better frames per second. I think if we zoom in, you could see a little bit of what I'm talking about here. And while you could still look at Kamala's shirt, her clothing, I would actually look past her on the left, look at the rocks, look at the background. You could see the 4K is very sharp. The LSS is right about there. Maybe there's something a little off about it. FSR, clearly though, losing some of that detail. It is a little bit dirtier, a little bit fudgier overall. Uh, you can see the, the rocks just look like they're kind of painted on there instead of like actual objects in the environment. 
when we zoom back out though let's look at this 100 size this is what it's going to look like when you're playing the game I, I i struggle to see the difference here and this is once again with the balance modes for fsr and for nvidia uh dlss um everything kind of i mean i would play the the, uh, the fsr version and not spot any real differences here while playing it and i think that's the big takeaway i have is that fsr when you when you look at it under my microscope yeah there's differences but it's good enough so far so let's take a look at one more comparison since you know i got the footage uh where do you where do you see the differences where do you see where fsr is maybe coming coming up a little bit short it's not i mean not really the character models when you're zoomed out like this you, it's really difficult to spot it i think uh, I think the grading over there on the left side of the floor, like I think the lines there, you, lo you lose some clarity, some fidelity, but it's just not much. So I, I, I think to kind of wrap this up, let, let's talk about what's happening here. Um, obviously, DLSS is a better, a better technology for what it's trying to do here. It's a more advanced technology. I don't think anyone disputes that. I don't think AMD is trying to say that it's going to... Um, undercut and replace dlss with super resolution super resolution is just a different way of getting to something very similar and it works well enough that i i will turn it on whenever i see it if super resolution is an option i'm going to use it at least ultra quality um i think once you start getting down to quality uh, but especially balanced and below you probably will start to see some visual issues some visual artifacting um, but it's in most games, especially if you have a really like decent and recent GPU, you're going to be just fine with ultra quality or quality with FSR. And, um, uh, you know, I think DLSS, if that's an option, I'll probably prefer that, especially on an NVIDIA card, obviously, but uh, that's I don't think that's going to be how it works most of the time. Avengers is like the rare instance where both options are available. Games are doing one or the other. Uh, so it, it'll, it'll be nice to have an NVIDIA card because then you'll have the option to do one or the other. But I think if you do have a very powerful rig and you're, you're using an NVIDIA card, it's going to be nice to continue using DLSS, especially when you're trying to get like 4K and 120 frames per second in some games. Uh, that's going to be pretty wild. That, but, but with DLSS, that is a possibility. With FSR, that is also a possibility. But I think you're going to have to go from ultra quality down to quality and balanced, and start start making some sacrifices a little bit more more frequently. Uh, the difference with being between that and DLSS is even if you drop DLSS down to balanced or even performance, it still looks really good in a lot of cases. That's that's one of the big differences there is that it just balances the actually not much of a sacrifice with DLSS. So what, what what's going to happen now? Um, I think that FSR is going to continue to get better. It'll uh, incorporate other technologies. AMD will be able to build on this. If this is the foundation, we're going to be in a really good place with this stuff in the future because this could be the foundation for anything that they want to add on top of it in terms of if they find out ways to integrate uh, temporal uh, data into the way that they do use their technology to improve uh, some of the, the, the processing. If they want to bring in machine learning, like they can use this as the foundation and put machine learning on top of that. Uh, and it, it seems like that it, that's kind of the direction that they're headed. So right now, if you have a graphics card, if, especially if you have an older graphics card and you see AMD FSR as an option, uh, I feel like it's a no brainer and you got to go for it. Uh, you got to turn it on at least to ultra quality. Um, but you know, just kind of fiddle around with it. See what, see what looks good to your, to your eye. Um, I think in most cases for most people, they aren't going to notice the difference, but it's very similar to the resolution debate already. Uh, and I guess I called it a debate. I'm the only one still debating it really <laughs> that, that 4k is a bit overkill. Um, you know, I, I use a 4K monitor on my computer and I sit a, like, you know, a foot away, to, to maybe two feet away. In that instance, it's, it's a big monitor. So I notice 4K on my monitor. But I think if most people are playing uh, a little bit further away from that on smaller monitors, playing on, on consoles, on TVs that, that they sit relatively far away from, um, you're not going to notice much of a difference between 1080 and 4K. You'll notice like almost no difference between 1440p and 4K. 
Uh, so if you are trying to run something at 4K and you turn on FSR and it's like natively running it at 1440p, already you're getting the benefits of, well, you're not going to notice the difference anyhow between 1440p and 4K. And then if you add some clever sharpening on top of that, some clever processing, well, then you're definitely not going to notice. Uh, and really then it just comes down to making sure that the FSR doesn't introduce any weird visual problems that, that would like distract you. And so far it hasn't done that. But I'm rambling now, so let's wrap it up. I, I, again, I just think my big takeaway here is FSR is really, it's good, it's good enough. DLSS is better. I will prefer DLSS when I'm given the option, uh, but in situations where I have to use FSR, I will not be complaining. I'll be very happy. If this stuff comes to console soon, that'll be great. Uh, yeah, it's it's a good, solid tech, and um, it's just not magic is, is its big issue. It, it is being compared directly to something that still feels like magic in DLSS, where you can give a computer uh, a job of saying, hey, render this at 720p, make it look like 4K, and then this magical hardware spits out something that looks even better than 4K in some select instance instances. Um, yeah, FSR was never gonna be able to beat that and that's fine. Really, no one's gonna be making that comparison in their own homes. What you're gonna be comparing it to is FSR on and FSR off. And in a lot of cases with FSR on, the frame rate boost you get will be totally 100% worth it. Okay. That's going to do it. Thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, go ahead and hit that like button. Uh, read up on this stuff at gamespeed.com. Uh, find me on Twitter at Jeff Grubb. Come hang out with me in my Discord, discord.gg slash game mess. All right, I'm going to get out of here. Thanks again for watching. Have a good one. Take care of yourself, and goodbye.